new at six driving through metro atlanta you inevitably come across the graffiti but when does it go from art to being a public safety threat? So an 11 Alive investigation found road signs that have been tagged with stickers of paint could actually confuse self-driving cars out there. Savannah Levins joins us right now with the very latest. Savannah? Yeah, so Ron, in one test, graffiti caused an autonomous vehicle to read a stop sign as, get this, a 45 miles per hour sign. Very concerning. As more self-driving cars hit our roads, it's an issue experts say needs to be addressed. Atlanta is known for many things. Graffiti art is certainly one. From Crog Street to downtown stand murals synonymous with the city's culture. And we're known for innovation. Self-driving vehicle companies like Cruise, Beep and Clevon all choosing the Metro to early launch and test their tech. But experts say those Atlanta hallmarks could be a very dangerous mix. What random graffiti can potentially give you is the model might completely miss the sign and do, and do not recognize the sign at all. Amir Ramadi is a computer science professor who published research that found autonomous vehicle technology can be fooled by graffiti. Stickers are like small dots and blobs of color that you add here and there. We have examples of driving by and recognizing a stop sign as a speed limit sign, for example. Georgia Tech researchers did similar tests. In this video, you can see the technology reads this tagged stop sign as a bird, sports ball, even a person. If you block the letters, for example, in the stop sign, that's very effective at fooling it. And by the time it gets close enough to recognize it as a stop sign, it may not be able to break in time. Researcher Kevin Eicholt says it doesn't even take much. At first, we thought it was going to be very difficult to do. We found, surprisingly, that we didn't have to make the changes to be very colorful. Just simple black and white stickers was surprisingly effective at, at causing it to, to flip its decisions. By the time it, you know, corrected, by then it was too late. In the last year, City of Atlanta crews were dispatched more than 200 times to remove graffiti on traffic signs. And still, it's everywhere, all as we serve as a test drive city for autonomous vehicles. If we naively start to use them across the board without really thinking about these security and privacy challenges, then these systems can become vulnerable. The Atlanta Regional Commission says they're trying to get ahead, proposing plans for smart traffic signals and road sensors. But Eicholt says the onus will primarily fall on the automakers to improve their technology to better adapt. Cleaning up the signs and stuff is fine, but I think a lot of the, the safety and security comes on the people producing the actual technology. So not all graffiti will fool every vehicle. And we know more of these automakers are implementing fail safes like GPS and sensors as backups if those cameras get confused. But Ron, experts yeah. say there's still a lot to address here before yeah. we like fully lean into this whole self-driving city thing. Yeah, when it comes to safety on so many levels, not just getting people from point A to point B, but also the potential of a, a deadly collision. So yeah, yeah. they got to work that out. Yep, yep, I would say so. Yeah. All right, Savannah, <laughs> thank you.